Hello, my name is Tim Harris, and I am here at the wonderful and beautiful Center for Energy Education here in Roanoke Rapids. I am the safety officer here. Um, I teach OSHA outreach training for the center for their uh, safety needs, and I'm here to talk to you about safety on the solar farm. But let's first look at the different hazards that is associated with being on a solar farm. Solar construction is just what it is. It's a construction project. There will be hazards. OSHA, the um, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, regulates um, occupational hazards and occupational safety in construction, as well as general industry, but we are talking specifically about construction this morning. The 1926 that's the Code of Federal Regulations. The 1926 pretty much is the standard for how construction companies shall maintain their safety policy within the United States. Um, OSHA does have that um, mandate and have that responsibility to make sure that everybody in construction in the United States that goes on a construction site leave with all 10 fingers and all 10 toes. And that's one of the things that I am a safety uh, professional am ab adamant about. I'm adamant about people learning how to be safe on the job site. And there is, on a solar farm and a solar project, there's a lot of phases. Before any construction takes place, the very first, con uh, uh, with, the, with the building of the panels and the assimilation of the panels and the implementation of the electrical components, there is heavy equipment. That heavy equipment first comes in and it starts clearing out land and it starts moving uh, uh, earth and the big earth moving equipments are very dangerous. It takes very well and qualified individuals to run those uh, heavy equipment. And we must understand that not everybody is coming into the industry with the same amount of skills levels, uh, same amount of qualifications. Some people just been in construction for a year. Some been in for two years, five years, ten years. You have a little bit more seasoned construction workers that's been in 20, 25 years. And each level of qualification and skills, there comes uh, just a little bit tad of human error. Depend, no matter what uh, level of expertise, uh, expertise or qualifications that you have. You have to remember that we as human beings get, we are habit forming and we get used to doing things our way even though we've been taught a particular way. We implement our own skills and our own mindset into the job. First thing in a solar farm, you will look and you will see that the uh, space is wide. The space is very wide, and it must be very wide, a lot of area, a surface area dealing with in, in the solar farm. There must be heavy equipment bringing in all of the materials that is needed to construct that solar farm. You have the panels, you have the truss, you have, you know, big metal parts that's moving around along with the trucks. And then you have personnel moving as well. And there is a certain amount of hazards that is associated with heavy equipment, with personnel moving, and with people putting their hands on materials, and that's material handling, and picking it up and moving it around. But there is also a particular amount of risk that is already embedded and inherent in certain jobs. There's risk that you take for doing certain jobs, it's just gonna be there. Hazards can pretty much be controlled, but the risk are embedded and they're inherited. And you pretty much can't do anything with them. But what you can do is you can prepare yourself to be a skilled and more uh, consciously aware of your surroundings and the particular project that you own. This is one of the things that having a good safety program and, and embedding a good safety culture inside your company can do. And this is what we do here at the Center for Energy Education and what my we, we partner with them and we make sure that workers coming in never, especially the ones that never did construction before and even the ones that have done construction before. Um, OSHA has two 
uh, construction awareness courses, and that's what they are, they're aware awareness courses. The more a person is aware of a particular hazard, the more they can be consciously aware of being safe around that hazard. Um, first, first of all, we will continue this as we uh, talk to you uh, on the um, upcoming um, lessons and be sure to know that you are the most important person on the construction site. Here's a quick workplace safety tip from DOL. Reducing the spread of COVID-19 is a community effort and hand washing is an important part. Your employees will be safer if customers and visitors have access to hand washing stations too. Soap and running water are best, but if you don't have them, provide hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Find more tips like these from OSHA on preparing your workplace for COVID-19 at OSHA.gov.